In this video, you're going to learn how to install Google Analytics on your Squarespace website. I'll show you the options available for installing the tracking code and how you can collect the best data possible from your Squarespace website. There are three different ways to install Google Analytics on your Squarespace website. The first option is to use the inbuilt Google Analytics integration. This is where you take your Google Analytics tracking ID and paste it directly into Squarespace. The second option is to place the standard Google Analytics tracking code into your Squarespace website using code injection. And finally, my preferred option is using Google Tag Manager with code injection because it provides additional flexibility. So let's jump into Google Analytics and start by finding our tracking ID. To do this, we need to navigate to the admin section and look for tracking info under the property column and then select tracking code at the top. Here we can see our tracking ID. So we can copy this and we can head back into Squarespace. Once we're inside Squarespace, we need to navigate to Settings and then Advanced, and then click External Services. Here we can see we can paste the Google Analytics tracking ID into Squarespace. Once we save the setting, this will mean we're automatically tracking our pages into Google Analytics. It also means that if we're using e-commerce with Squarespace, that we'll also be tracking details about our transactions into our Google Analytics reports. So this is the first option. It's the quickest way to get up and running with Google Analytics and Squarespace. The next option is to paste the Google Analytics tracking code into the Squarespace code injection. If we head back to Google Analytics, this time we'll select the website tracking code and I copy the entire tracking code. Now when I head back into Squarespace, I head to Settings, then Advanced, and click Code Injection. Now I paste the code into the header section of Squarespace. It's important to highlight that we don't want to use multiple methods for adding the Google Analytics tracking code to our website. So if we are using the inbuilt integration, then we won't want to also add the tracking code using Code Injection, because this will mean we'll now have two tracking codes on each page of our website. So it's important to use one method or the other, not both. Once I save the code injection, my Google Analytics tracking code will be placed on all the pages of my site. And again, I'll have data collected into Google Analytics. The third option, which is my preferred option, is similar to the last one, but instead of pasting the Google Analytics tracking code, we paste Google Tag Manager code into code injection. So what we need to do is we need to first head to Google Tag Manager to create our container code. So let's head into Google Tag Manager now. We click on Create Account and we follow the steps to create our account. Once we have our container code, we copy the code and this is what we paste into the code injection inside Squarespace. Once we've done this, we click on Save and now we need to head back into Google Tag Manager to configure our Google Analytics tag. I click New Tag and I name my tag. Then I select Tag Configuration and I select Universal Analytics. I add the Google Analytics tracking ID. And now I need to select my trigger. I select All Pages, which means that Google Analytics will fire on all the pages of my website, and then I click Save. Now I need to click Submit and then select Publish and create a version and click on Publish. This will mean that the Google Analytics tracking code is now live on my website. This is my preferred option because it means I can also manage additional tags right within Google Tag Manager. For example, if I wanted to implement a Facebook pixel or I wanted to add additional JavaScript to my Squarespace website, then I can do this directly inside Google Tag Manager without needing to add additional code to Squarespace. So they are the different methods we have for adding Google Analytics to our Squarespace website. You can use the inbuilt integration, you can add the Google Analytics tracking code or use Google Tag Manager. 
One thing to highlight is that if you are selling online using Squarespace, then the simplest way to get up and running is using the inbuilt integration. This is because it will automatically send transaction details into Google Analytics. Once you're collecting data, it's time to begin using the reports. So that's how you can install Google Analytics on your Squarespace website. Tell me how you're using Google Analytics with Squarespace. Let me know and leave your tips in the comments below.